everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to TerraTech World's Early Access. It says pre-release demo, but the game is out now on Steam. It is a six-player co-op survival sandbox robot vehicle builder, and if you follow the link in the description below, you can pick it up for yourselves today, right now. Uh, anyway, so if you caught my previous coverage, uh, you might notice that my base is a little different. Uh, it turns out save files did not transfer over from the beta to this, but that makes sense because they've added a bunch of new things and changed a bunch of stuff. Uh, some of the things I'm very excited for. So I played a little bit to catch kind of back up to where I was, not quite at the same. So I still haven't made the block fabricator, but I kind of don't need to because one of the texts that I do have access to is the scrapper. So I can put in enemy, uh, enemy tech parts and uh, scrap them and turn them into whatever I want. So we've gotten a lot of, well... We, I can turn them into their core components and then use that to make whatever I want. So, we're going hunting. Uh, the last time I played, I was spending a lot of time mining and hunting for resources. And now, uh, well, we don't need to do that anymore. Sort of. Uh, we need to go find some uh, some techs. I think I see one right there. Uh, unfortunately, my, my own tech is kind of basic, but it should... Nope, that's a, that's a killer mushroom. It's fine. There's got to be somebody around here somewhere. And if we're lucky, we can find another one of those locations that is just rife with enemies fighting each other or fighting plants. Uh, ooh, maybe I should go see if I can find some electro trees. There's an unfriendly face. I want to see if I can hit that frame. He's only got his gun on one side. Oh, you can see how much HP he even has. Perfect. All right, let's take that cockpit off. I don't actually, well, no, I know how to, I know how to unlock that cockpit. But here we might, we want as many different parts as we possibly can from this guy. So we've picked up guns, wheels, some other stuff. Yeah, we'll have to find some richer creatures, creatures, uh, some richer text to go after. I want to see if I can get that thing's frame at some point so I can actually figure out if I can remake it or keep it for myself or something. I haven't exactly figured out how to unlock too many new texts. Uh, not snapshot manager. Oh, I think it's actually just encountering it. So there's the small frame. So I guess, yeah, all we have to do is just destroy it. But I can unlock these to use them if I want to. I haven't gotten around to that yet. I'll make that decision later. Right now we just need resources so I can actually make things. We're also looking for some rare resources like gold and uh, niobium. I don't know where or what that is is but uh if we can find niobium that that unlocks the oh shoot what was it again it was something really useful but my brain my brain is skipped out on it it's fine it's it's some kind of tech also a uh, big change from last time you can get silicon from rocks not much though it's a bit slow hence why i'm going to go hunting instead because if i can find axles you can also get a lot of silicon out of those Ooh, snowy mountain over there Surprisingly quiet at the moment. I see a tech over there. Do we do we go fight him? Yeah. Oh. Here's a closer victim. Oh. Well, that's inconvenient. Wait, we want to actually leave his gun. Oh, did he take my own gun off? He did. There we go. So let's see. Axel's over here. We'll heal over time, though I might want to restore my gun. Because I can restore my gun for free. It costs me a repair kit, but I know how to get more of those. Uh, yeah, let's just repair, restore my tech. Repair complete. What? Why didn't... All right, that's confusing. You know, I'm just going to say that's that's gone and not think about it too hard. We'll just get the carbon off of it and keep looking. I, you know, I don't even see any of the lightning trees. What? <laughs> ah. I, that was a lethal bit of iron there. I must have hit it at the wrong angle and it, it popped my, um, popped my, my cabin. All right, whatever. It is fine. So, a couple of talking points beyond. No. 
or no, I think I think I got most of the talking points as we go along. Uh, the one other talking point I guess I didn't really talk about here uh, as part of this video is that uh, there are multiple planets that you can visit. Currently, there's only the tutorial planet and then the one I'm on, but supposedly eventually you'll be able to planet hop either as new save files or maybe you can actually like jet set to different planets with different texts and stuff. Which actually sounds kind of cool to me. I'll have to see how that actually like plays, but that's not currently in the early access version. And anyway, I'm going to be playing solo at least for now. There's a foe. Looks like it's the same dude as last time, but that's fine. I know he's got an axle, and I want it. Why would you do that? Huh. I'm just going to leave him up there for the time being. I'm going to go grab his stuff in case he goes too far. I think he lost his gun too. Eh, that's fine. I'll take what I can get. Let's keep finding more, more victims. Uh, nice part is because we reset, we did get to uh, get our repair kits back. Every time you die, you get all of them. There's a... There's a the problem is they're not fighting each other. Yeah, it looks like they've gotten rid of the lightning trees, at least for the moment. Yeah, I wish they were fighting each other. That would make my life considerably easier here. I'm a pretty weak boy. Oh gosh, there's like seven of them. Okay, let's, let's go after this one. He's kind of on his own. That ain't working. Let's use a repair kit. Nope. Didn't work. Dang. Two guns. I'll have to maybe... Well, do we have a second gun that I just got? I think we did. Let's, let's go back and grab it. I've got enough ammo, we might as well go two guns ourselves and make it work. And fortunately, uh, because I'm rolling the most basic machine, there's not much I can do uh, combat-wise. Like, I'm just going to get overpowered. Sometimes, not always. Is this the dude? This is the dude that just messed me up. Problem is I don't have any ammunition. I always kind of wish ammunition was the one thing you didn't drop. Okay, so he's kind of... Give it up on following me. And who knows, maybe we'll be able to get, like, swank lasers later. I like the lasers better because they're hitscan. The bullets you actually have to worry about tracking. Okay, let's... Do we go back? I did pick up a second gun, didn't I? Yes, I did. Let's do two guns. I've got the ammo to spare. And I'm also very much out for blood. So yeah, there's two of them. Unfortunately, the blue biome is, for better and worse, the harder biome. And so if I can get in here... There it is. If I can get in here and hit him and take him out. We got a decent amount of stuff. Another axle. Unfortunately, a lot of the like really good components, I'm just not going to be able to get my hands on. Because uh, I'm going to be breaking them. Ooh, is this quartz? Silicon and gold. Eventually, I'll want to figure out other ways of harvesting this stuff, but I'm very happy with this this change in strategy. Because, yeah, the reason why I hadn't built the block fabricator yet was I hadn't found a reliable source of silicon. But having it just be a resource that you get, oh, in mass from quartz changes so much. I'd like to find another one of those lightning trees if I can, just because they're an incredibly good source of random resources. 
We might also want to go back up to that thing and harvest it. Because all the extra, uh, all those extra parts I can just toss into a scrapper for more goodies. If I take out the cab, I get the most. The only immediate problem is cabs tend to be a little on the tough side. Just come on. Come on. There we go. I wonder if it's one of those where you puff them up now. It's, it's actually like an internalized health bar on these things. with something slightly fancy. I'm just gonna back off for a hot second. Yeah, there's two of them. But if I get far enough away, they can't really hurt me. Because we heal slowly over time. Should be in a good spot. Nope, there's still two of them. Okay. Okay. I think that's a cargo container. <sighs> Dang, didn't get it. Gotta be careful, just give myself a little bit of time. Sweet looking wheel, I'll probably wanna grab it, but I wanna give myself just a little bit of time to get my HP back. I'm literally a skeleton on wheels, or about as skeletal as you can get. I'm just going to play Ring Around the Rosie so he doesn't lose aggro. Got him. Not fully, but got him enough. Come on. Don't get stuck. There we go. I'd like a navigator cab, but I don't actually know how to retrieve more of those. So what do we what do we have here? What can I do? I mean, the big one is I can actually add a trunk to my own dude. So I have some carrying capacity. I'm just going to put that there. Put this in. Okay. We'll just Franken car so I can pick up all these extra parts. Also, I'm faster now, so that's good. I don't know how many of these are, are actually going to be viable or useful for me, but I want as much as I can, I can snag. And it doesn't seem like it's messing with my reactor too badly here. So let's snag this, and now that I have a bunch of silicon, there's the lightning tree. Actually, I might as well snag the carbon on this real quick, seeing as we're right here. But yeah, where there are lightning trees, there's usually victims. There we go. That was a random dude just hanging out here. All right. Plink down its frame. And grab what I can. Looks to be mostly tires. Okay, so what can I what can I do with this one? Got some of them. Okay. Let's 
so he's got... He's got an explosive launcher that I desperately want. Oh, perfect. Got it. Wait. So we've discovered the plasma ejector, but we don't have it yet. Put that on. And then two swank wheels. A medium battery. There we go. Okay. I think we're properly overloaded. We've taken some serious damage here. Uh, my, my tech is barely functional, but... But we have put ourselves in a position of uh, relative wealth compared to where our, where we were at. And we can, now that we have this amount of stuff, we can go back out there. This is the terror tech I was looking for. One where you're effectively a grubby little vulture, uh, you know, picking off at the, the carrion. Or picking at the carrion. Maybe you're not a vulture. Maybe you're kind of some, eh, I don't want to say this like a velociraptor. It's a something. Now, I don't actually remember how to myself here. It used to be just to hang out on the tech platform, but it might actually be something where I have to hit the button. All right, whatever. Uh, let's see. So I guess for starters, let's let's just do the really boring and basic thing of put everything away, except for my ammunition, which I'm gonna have to make more of, because that that cost me 200 ammo. Next up, we start just ripping all of these extraneous pieces off of our tech that we're not using at the moment and don't need and don't even know what half of them do because we have boosters we have a resource laser compared to my oh resource laser they just painted it different interesting that doesn't match my my color scheme okay i don't know what these boosters are uncommon Usage, cost, yeah, not a clue. Oh, and it's one of those. All right. I don't really care what this does to my Franken car's visual design. I'm just here to rip off as many parts as I can. Okay, so medium battery, I think, is actually really helpful. Oh, reactor load is 20, though. Small booster. Can I can I check these in the Blockopedia? So, Centurion. Oh, Centurion cab. Perfect for building war machines. It's expensive. I cannot afford it. It's 500. Never mind. Why is it only... Why is it 500? Can I... Wow, yeah, these have only been paying out a little bit. Okay, we completed that one. Oh, return to your tech, tech yard to complain. Uh, to complain. To claim. Yeah, the Centurion cab seems like it might actually be worth saving up for. Let's take a look at this. And we seem to get, like, a ton based on how many we kill. Craft a launch pad. I think we've claimed every reward we can. Which is odd. I would have expected to have... Oh, no. Now we have 430. Okay, so now that we've done that, go back here. So armor extender, small booster. Use this to increase your speed rapidly as long as you have fuel to burn. Oh, but it uses resources. A medium wheel, which I don't hate the idea of the medium wheel. It is pricey, though. So navigator cab. Is turbo to all blocks and nanobot repair to all blocks versus recycle all blocks Applies when any block takes damage. I don't know what recycle is. And then armor. So extra durability. Re how hmm. We also need refined gold for it, which is a little tough. So we might want to just get the navigator cab for now. Oh, it cannot be licensed. Oh, I have to unlock it. All right. So we also have like that. We have the Witchfire Plasma Ejector uses something. It's a good AOE. My only immediate problem with that is AOE means less parts, potentially. Any other really good parts that I'm 
looking at here that I'd like to grab? Angled weapon mount, small axle, spotlight, shifted wheels. No. So we can save up for this interior cab. We're pretty close, and once I have that... Yeah, the refined gold might be a little hard to get my hands on, but not insanely bad. Otherwise, there's like the Komodo frame. Were there any other frames? Because there's also the small frame. Armor. You know, do we want to do the... Oh, it cannot be licensed. Do we, we have to unlock some of these via objectives. Well then, why don't we, um, why don't we focus on some of our ob objectives for a hot second? I'm, I'm going to keep the medium wheels... Grab the boosters, the armor, the spare guns, all these small shifted wheels. Okay, and I put my scrapper over here. So we can just slam these in and turn this on. There we go. Oh, the uh, the thing I need the niobium for, for is uh, I need it for green energy. Oh, I have to turn it on. All right, there we go. Yeah, so these give me refined gold. Sick. All right, let's just fill that up. Yeah, we might as well go out of our way to scrap, I mean, a whole bunch of these, obviously. There we go. Some are going to be better than others. Some are going to be completely worthless to me, but I'm going to be going out of my way for them all the same. I... Oh, I'm so glad that they added the scrapper. I think you could already maybe scrap things with like a resource laser or something. I'd been reading about it. And I was like, huh, I wonder how you how you do that. Oh, how do we... Is there... I was hoping there would be like a sm smooth sort. Just so it's not like a mess. But alas. All right, so this will get us a little bit more silicon. We should have a bunch sitting around now. Not as much on the gold which is unfortunate for me. Okay. Inventory is full again. Let's give him the 10 tires. Yeah, some of these are going to be more useful than others. So we want to go here. We want to do a block fabricator. Unfortunately, I think I need to turn... Wait, do I? Do we have enough? We don't have enough refined copper. There we go. And then the other thing I should do is probably turn this sucker off for a bit. Let's do it. Because I only have enough power to power one machine at a time. I could build another generator, but it's wasteful. Hmm. Give it the carbon it needs. And I'm just going to move over all of the refined resources for a moment. There we go. Block Fabricator. And now it wants an S1 silo. I'm just going to kind of follow the uh, the quest line for a bit. Aluminum. The one we're, uh, my one fear is that we don't have enough of certain resource types, but I think we'll be maybe okay. And of course, I don't have enough. Uh, hmm. Oh. All right, and then it's going to want another lamp. launch pad. Launch pad? So here's the one thing I wanted to check. We have conduits. Requires copper and refined carbon. I might be able to have... Nope, this. Conduit. I might actually be able to hook a couple of these things up, which is exactly what I want to try. So let's move the block fabricator over here, move this here. I wonder if you can actually just have these things hooked up normally. Well, time to find out. Um, that there. Turn this off for a moment. If I turn this back on... Oh, it's this. 
Block fabricator needs to be off. Oh, the workbench doesn't trip the power thing. I want to check something with this. If if I hook this up, to, oh, okay. So cool beans. There's, I don't know if this determines input or output yet. However, uh, or no, it's it's not working. Give me a second. What I want to see is, can this pull from nearby storage? Input, output. Because while we're here, what do I need for another Tetra platform? Iron and carbon. Let's just get a bunch. I could probably yoink some of these from elsewhere, but... We've only found one base, and I already pulled every Tetra platform I could. There we go. Right, let's try putting a conduit here next. There we go. Linear conduit. Okay, it's moving the resources. In here. So let's grab the vendors. Okay, it's it's pulling the tires. It's doing everything I was hoping it would. Okay, so we now have an automated scrapper system. So what this does is it pulls uh, scrap out of this and outputs into this guy. I wonder if we have like filters or some other things that we can pull from. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see once we get there. It looks like it is a little slow is the one worry. And oh, fun fact, it only pulls or it only moves things into it if if there's a, uh, a space for it. So, in that case, I guess we pull this one out and move this one right here. I'm just going to have this be my resource storage rather than my part storage. Yep. I don't think there's a way to R sort. No. Either way, doesn't matter too much. I'm just happy to have a functional system that I can work with. Let's go back here then. Uh, let's see, can I make two more conduit? I can, but I need to consider moving some things around. My inventory is full. Again, this is... Kind of the natural order of things. Okay, so we want refined carbon and iron. Should have enough. Okay, so we wanted to get... Oh no, it's copper. Copper and carbon. Oh, it's still going. So, I love automation. It's my bread and butter when it comes to these games. I love just poking at systems and, and having them interconnect in various, various ways. Okay, so in that case, we're just going to move this around a little bit. Let's see, are you done? Yeah, I'm just gonna take all of these, turn it off for the moment. Actually, just turn off the whole generator, because it keeps burning. Let's see, oh. I know what I need to do. 
It keeps burning even if you're not doing anything, which is slightly obnoxious. Okay, so if I go to this one, we can restore grid power, turn it on. I want one more of these, at the very least. I'll get a couple. What I want to do is have this be slightly tidy. There we go. So that's a bit nicer. Get this, you scum. There we go, now it's linked up. I'm gonna grab the workbench and we're gonna pop it over here as well. I'll probably have to do some other, like, crazy stuff with conduits. Right now my main goal is to just have a couple of systems that work together so I don't have to constantly be moving resources. So, if for example I need more conduits... Okay, so it, it isn't doing what I was hoping it would do. I was hoping it would intelligently pull the resources I want and it might just pull whatever the top resource is. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe we need to get more complicated conduit. Well, one way or another, we've got resources aplenty and that's all a guy could ask for. Okay, so I guess next order of business would be hooking this sucker up. Let's just put this back where it was. Okay, the scrapper's off. Everything kind of is unpowered. What do I need to... Oh, I need to get some things. Oh, but we need a small cargo. And we don't have enough aluminum because I think I've been using it. Well, let's go, let's go fix that issue real quick. It's a thing that kind of looks like coral, sort of. I can use some more copper while we're out as well. It's a lower priority. However, I won't say no to some victims. Especially when they don't do that much damage to me. Yeah, if I can surgically remove the cab. There it goes. I don't think I've I don't think I'm looting the guns off of a lot of these, unfortunately, but that's that's okay. Keep looking around. There might be There there's some aluminum. Oh. I do like the fact that your resource laser will not fire if it's blocks. I guess it's probably to prevent you from hurting yourself. But there, that should be a decent chunk of aluminum. It's like 10. Eventually I'll have to mess around with the tractor beams, or maybe I won't. Maybe it's one of those where I specifically just scavenge. I'll admit from a personal perspective, I really like scavenging in this game. You see an enemy, you pick them off. You see some enemies fighting a tree. You wait for them to all die, and then you come in, swoop up, uh, and swoop up all the resources. And you don't have to spend a whole lot of time just mining. I think I would describe it. I like mining in games where the mining is one of those where you can kind of automate the process, and you just you let it run after a while. I'm hoping we get there now that we have this conduit system. Uh, and hopefully, the conduit system has like a a couple of deeper tiers. Specifically, like, filter or request conduits. I think currently the conduits are, are literally nothing more than just a, a loader. It just pulls whatever the top resource is out and moves it over, I think. Which is a fine system and works really well for my scrapper, but what I'd like is a conduit system that can intelligently say, like, Hey, you know, this is a bunch of stuff uh, that needs to be pulled out of here. So speaking of a bunch of stuff that needs to be pulled out of here, let's just toss a couple of these in. 
Uh, we'll get to it in a second. I was going to... I was... What was I going to make? Oh, we needed this. Aluminum and copper. Why does it do need copper for some, some things? Alright. Let's just give this the power it wants. Turn that back on. Let it go and I'll just come back later. Oh, actually it just gave me the co copper I needed. One of those parts must have been worth it. Okay. So I was going to build one of these. There we go. And I'm pretty sure... Oh boy. I am pretty sure I should not... Well, I guess I'll just have it here. On top for the time being. We really are just a grubby, grubby little goblin creature, aren't we? Turn off our generator, and where are we doing? Well, at least we have another we have another row of this. Okay, let's let's go here for a hot second. I've completed a couple of my objectives. Uh, if we go back to certification, got the small cargo block, receive a small cargo block. We also get a battery, make a small battery block. Yeah, we have to do this to get certain licenses. A so small battery requires aluminum, copper. Well, did we actually get enough copper? No. Boy, I have a lot of... Well, I've got a lot of everything else, just no copper. Uh, so I guess I could go do that. We also need to craft a launch pad. So let's, let's figure that out before I do anything else. Iron... Iron, aluminum, copper, and silicon. Let's see... Yeah, the sil silicon's gonna be a little bit of a dicey endeavor. So let's, let's go into the blue lands, see if we can find some quartz, some gold... Uh, some corpses. I'll take the aluminum as we go by, and I might see if I can go on top of the hill and get some copper while we're up there, because we're going to need a little bit of everything. Let's see. Not seeing too much. I'll have to go to the ice lands at some point. Just to see what I can snag out of it. What? What? What was that? I have no idea. I do so appreciate how janky a lot of my enemies are. It makes them fairly easy to take out in a one-on-one -on -one fight. So I don't know what this guy's deal is. But yeah, he was near death. Probably from fighting plants. If I'd hazard a guess. Whoa. Okay, whatever that is, I want it. Just heal slowly. Got it. Got the Soroka laser. Definitely took some damage from that, but that's okay. Ooh, got a mobile lightning rod. Okay, small axle. We take those here. And cool-ass laser. And this is why I come out here. Ooh, that's a big structure. I'll have to get that shortly. The one problem is I do also have to get out of here safely.
Okay. Messed him up. There it goes. Cool boy. Really? Okay. Snag that. Put that on top. It's an off road wheel. Gonna just take a basic wheel off. Come on, dude. There we go. Okay. Is this a viable vehicle at all? No. Is it what I'm driving home with? Yes. I lost my resource laser. We don't want to get close to the lightning tree. Let's see if I can get small wheel there we go I'll have to mess around with the tractor beam at a later date okay that was not going for me it's a little scary being right next to one of those because uh, they can and will mess me up in the worst possible ways At some point, I'll have to get the, the tractor beam. We'll have to get the tractor beam so I can... I should have destroyed these first. All my resources are scattered. Oh, it's okay. Are you kidding me? No space for the tech cargo. Just took up my storage container. Rude. Okay, let's give my tech a hat. Oh, no. Give it a weird butt. Alright. I don't know where our where we're at, uh, reactor core load wise. It feels better than it was at, so I'm going to assume, um, I'm going to assume that there was that whole reactor efficiency thing that means you can equip more stuff now. Maybe. Okay. Do we get out of this, this heck, heckish horror land? Kind of. I'm glad I'm not getting attacked as much. Let's see if I can get a little bit more silicon. And, like, gold. We definitely need gold for a number of things. Okay, this will have to do. Well, let's just cross. I don't really want to fight guys at this point. What? Oh. Got him. All right, next one. Take him down the rest of the way. All right, let's see what I can snag off of these. Not much, but I can probably slap some parts on. That, oh, they're not the same. Let's see. Welcome to my nightmare vehicle.
Now the big one would actually be to slap these two lasers here. Tech is overloaded. Power generation should be abysmal. But my goal is not to generate power. My goal is to uh, take all of this back with me. I could come back for another uh, I could come back for another round, but I don't know. There's something just kind of satisfying about uh, yoinking as much as humanly possible on each foray. You know, start as a, a grubby little nothing craft and then eventually get out with like as much as you can carry like a hermit crab that kills its enemies wears their skin until it can eat their skin and become a bigger crab rinse and repeat <laughs> I really actually suddenly wish this game had like little robo legs you could walk around or something Oh, that'd be satisfying. All right. So let's load this up. We've got a bunch of medium wheels, which is like the one part I kind of... So what is better? Off-road wheels, speed acceleration, handling and load, better speed, bad traction though. Mm, I'm probably going to hold on to both and we'll just figure it out. Okay. I'm just going to recycle the, the connectors because we don't need them too badly. Here's a question. Okay, I still have my resource laser. I don't want to... I don't want to recycle it. I don't know what an anemometer is. But I'm probably going to recycle them just for stuff. Same thing with the mobile lightning rods. Like, could I use these things? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Is it practical for me to use them right now? Mm, hard to say. Okay, so while that goes, let's... Let's start ripping some of these weird parts off and throwing them in. I think I think I'm going to keep the lasers though. Hmm. I might need another storage. I guess I can just put them here for the time being. Is this going? No, it's not. It's off. There we go. Now, is this actually depleting? Yes. Sometimes it doesn't. Move these over. Ideally, I want it to start with the biggest. So I can fit some more stuff over. We'll have to get a bigger storage thing at some point. Okay, there's my resource laser, but that's fine. Let's have another... Oh, off-road 2-meter wheel versus 3-meter wheel. You know, I think we want the 2-meter wheels over the 3-meter wheels. I think the 3-meter ones might end up just being a little big. Out of space to craft. No idea. The conduits don't seem to quite do what I want them to do. Whoa, refined lithium. And the benefit is, as far as I can tell, this is a one-to-one -one recycling, so... It'll just get rid of... Uh, our, it'll recycle all the materials and ideally make it so I can remake them if I want to. Uh, if I suddenly have, like, a need for armored... Our armored sidewalls, which I probably will. Like that's that's the the thing here. Hey, there's the refined silicon I was looking for. See, this this is why I play TerraTech, and I I didn't want to say it like too much when I was playing the beta because I didn't want to be like super like no, this is not what I want, but. This this whole finding enemies, ripping them to shreds, and using the parts uh, for... What is this? Angled weapon mount. We don't need those. Uh, using these parts. This is this is TerraTech. I like the survival sandbox elements. I think those are neat. And they have a lot of potential. Uh, let's see. 
I'm just gonna put this out oh, here. There we go. But on the flip side, it is so much more satisfying for me uh, to be able to find enemy bits and turn them into resources. And I like the kind of meditative element to this. The, I, I don't know, it's a little slower grabbing all these resources and then throwing them into a giant machine to scrap them all. But the idea of potentially making like a, a massive base dedicated to the idea of grinding every single foe you come across into dust, uh, grist to be used to make something else, I don't know, it feels really good to me. Uh, I only hope that eventually we can get it, like, it'd almost be kind of cool instead of the uh, conveyor is if you could actually have a storage thing directly above the scrapper and you'd see the thing fall in. It doesn't have to be that way, but uh, it'd be funny. Funny, satisfying, visually satisfying. So we need, we need the launch pad. I need refined copper, refined silicon, refined aluminum, and refined iron. I need everything. Luckily, we just ate a bunch of enemies and can easily just make one. What's your issue? Seems to be just storage again. I'll have to get some bigger... Um, ooh, that's huge. Uh, I'll have to get some bigger setups later. Oh, and that wrecked my power, so we'll just turn it off. There we go. But yeah, bigger storage containers, both on my own vehicle and in this base. So I can eat more, eat more vehicles. How do I describe it? It's playing the beta. It felt like I was eating a good meal, but it was missing a spice and I didn't quite know what it was or I knew what it was, but it was like, eh, but if I ask for it, is it going to ruin the meal? Um, I don't know. You're having like pad thai and it doesn't have quite enough sauce. And you're like, eh, do I ask for more? If I put more pad thai sauce, is it actually going to be raw? Like, is it actually not going to be the thing I want? Uh, do I actually really want just, like, more fish sauce or something? And not the actual pad thai sauce. And so... They added more pad thai sauce, and I could not be happier. Okay. I think we want to keep the small wheel. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll keep my resource laser. I'll put it on top. At some point, I'm going to have to... Let's see. Raise hover tech. There we go. The one thing that I did notice that you could do is you can actually paint your your vehicles. I think there might be a way of like doing it on a per part basis. Uh, but I've been going around in what color scheme was I using? I don't know. Like one of these. Maybe it was just this one. Might have just been that one. All right. How are we looking? Is it still? No. It pulls some of the resources out. It doesn't pull all of them. I'll have to figure out how it works. It might just be one of those where I need better conduits later. Or might just be needs an update in a later later date that fixes some of these things. But eh, it doesn't matter too much to me. So, uh, let's see. How are we doing on some of these? Let's turn that off. This just needs aluminum. That's, let's launch... Let's launch some of this stuff. Store grid power. Turn this on. And launch aluminum. Seeds generation. What? Oh. I see. And this thing only produces 50 power. So uh, this launch pad is the only thing that I can have powered at the moment. It's fine. And yeah, I don't think we've got enough refined gold. We got a smidge, but not nearly enough. Because if I want to build this, it requires niobium. Uh. And gold and strontium. Ah. Yeah, so I'll have to figure out where some of these are. Ooh! Oh, we have a rocket animation! Yeah, no, seriously, they, uh, they saved all the spice for the actual early access launch. I like that. 90 iron. Oof. I don't know what these get me, but I'm doing it. 
Ah, uh, wants me to do a fragmenter. Do we have any other objectives? Launch pad resources. Collect and launch resources. Okay, good. So I'm I'm progressing these quest lines. My fear is that I'm gonna outstrip it. Cause uh one of the issues that I oh it was the payload actually like visibly changing. No, maybe it wasn't. Oh it was! It was adding more parts. That's nice. What's the next task? Copper and aluminum. I'm just gonna keep following these. Unfortunately, none of these at the moment. How much does it want? Again, 40 refined aluminum. I think I have that much. There we go. Uh, hopefully at some point, some of these get me new blueprints. But I might actually have to go look at other things. I think this is just getting me extra babette, whatever the the currency is, which is good because I probably want to get that that other cockpit to play around with. I like the music when you launch. I wish it kind of came with its own, or it would like stick around for a little while. The game's kind of quiet. Uh, but. Of the changes I've, I've seen here, this has felt tremendously better than the last last version, uh, than the beta demo period, uh, both in like kind of form and function. Uh, there's just so much more that it feels like I can do. And I think so much of it is just being able to get resources, not just from mining. I think these are all just going to be paying out 25 at a time, which is not my favorite. So we probably want to look into getting like the fabric, uh, the fragmenter and some other stuff. What I want to do is figure out how to get one of the, uh, the kind of square ish frames. Okay. So let's, let's stop spending resources on launches. It's nice for the points, but unless it, unless it gets me a new block, it's, not super what I want. Guess I have to wait. Also, that's requesting a thing that I just don't have. Conveniently, we were just out of juice. Okay, power on. What do I need for a battery block? Aluminum, copper, chlorine. Luckily, we have some uh we have just enough of these things. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go out and fight more. But I just want to make as much, like, quest progress as I can at the moment. Turn you off for a moment. Eventually, I'll figure out where Niobium is. Okay, so, yeah, we've claimed all of those. Back to certification. Done a battery block. Conductivity scanner. No idea what that does. And then... If we go defeat three enemies. Oh, frequency analyzer to scan for. Oh, it's that shieldy looking thing. So now it wants me to go fight some stuff. <laughs> oh, I've been fighting stuff constantly here. Here's the question, though. Do we have enough resources? We have medium wheels. We have medium wheels. Okay, let's take a moment then. And overhaul the car a little bit. Let's see if I can make a frame. Connectors, modules, armors, cab? No. I mean, we could get the Centurion cab. I don't know what it costs to make, though. Because I think that was the one it required the refined gold. We almost can make it. We're just shy a smidge. What are these? Conductivity scanner. For scanning conductivity. Purified aluminum. I what? Altimeter and presence of wind by spinning. Interesting. No idea if it's useful. Okay. So we can get a Komodo frame. We can't get this yet. I think we have to unlock it. Amplify superconductors. So there's a lot of modifiers we want to grab. 
I guess let's grab the Komodo frame for the time being. Because that's just refined iron and aluminum. That's refined so sodium. Okay. Make one of those. Restore grid power. Cool. I might as well have a, a frame so I have some extra spots to work with. Uh, beans. I don't know if it, have enough inventory space for all of this. We'll have to figure out how to get a bigger everything. Okay. So how do we do this? I guess what we do is we rip my whole tech apart. Well, that's... that's not how we do it. It's okay. Oh, these are... these are separate wheel types. What? Basic wheel, basic wheel, small wheel. Huh. Uh, let's see. Oh, we don't have a navigator tech. Well, whatever. I'll just have the cab at the moment here. Q we need to roll. Yeah, we'll just do that. Gun, gun, resource laser on top. Yeah. So how do we want to get my medium wheels? can't quite have them coming off the bottom. If I look back at this, we do have a medium shifted wheel. So we could kind of go for a tricycle de uh, design. Yeah, I think that'll have to do, at least for now. Okay, so let's put all of these here. I don't think we need the four-way long connector. Put these back for the moment. So there's more I could do with this, but at least I have a functional vehicle that isn't going to be super slow and should be fine. So we've got a refinery. We've got a couple of things that we can refine. Speaking of... Okay, let's shift some bits around. I'm going to put this here. What we want is, let's, let's figure out what do we need for another one of these. Refined iron, aluminum, and carbon. Okay, so we should have plenty of those. We're a little low on aluminum, which is an issue. Shoot. Okay, fine. We don't need a big one. We can just do a small. Wait, what? Requires silicon. Okay. Turn the block fabricator off. There we go. So I'll just get a tier two silo. What we want, the reason why we want this, I mean, we want it for other things, but. Grab a linear, linear conduit. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, to rotate the camera in this menu, it's right click, but that's also the shoot button. Okay. So what I want to do is have this be the silicon dump chest, or is silicon the rubble dump chest. Turn it on. Okay, that should be going. Is that an enemy? That is an enemy just back out there. You know, in retrospect, I don't think this is worth it. 
This goes fast enough that I should just do it manually. Yeah. I'll just have to... I'll have to do something else. Okay, so we need whatever is left of our silicon and copper. Or, not copper. Um, silicon and carbon. We want to slap it in here. There we go. Because I have only got 88 bullets left. I'd like to use those big lasers. You know we could. Because I have the small battery and we have the Sirocco lasers. We do also have that medium battery. What's our reactor load at? Oh, it's fine. Because we could go for the discount play. Okay, so let's swap these two. Dang. And that pretty much would have been ideal. Okay, I think I'm going to have to give up on the battery idea, at least for a moment. I wonder if I can rotate this. No. In that case, maybe we move that there. Can I do this same thing? No, it's not going to fit. I'll have to figure something else out. Uh, let's see. Do a resource laser there. And I gotta figure out which of these weapons... ...is tied to what. Okay, put the medium battery back. Livery, weapons, and equipment. Okay, so... The Sirocco lasers seem to be tied to one. Yeah, it's a bit expensive, but whatever. I'm I'm neat, I'm zippy, I look cool, I've got sick weapons. Oh, and I'm fast. At least way faster than I used to be. Come back here, you absolute victim. Got a Kestrel frame out of that one. Yeah, we'll want to... I think we'll want to get one of the, like, big fight... Oops. This is going to be an issue. I think we'll want to get one of the big, uh, big cabs. And go for, like, a much more, like, power-centric, fighty frame at some point. Go for something that can take a punch and dish it back out pretty easily. and carry those batteries around without too much cost. Not my most efficient fight. I'll tell you that much. We got some good stuff off of it anyway, and I still don't think we've lost anything, which is good. And I heal very fast compared to where I was at previously. Okay. Time to bail. Oof. That was one of my lasers. Repair is complete. All right.
avoid for a hot second. Eh, beans. I don't quite have the traction that I need. So do I want here? Okay, we've got two, three. I'm gonna go for the little guy first. Because the little guys are genu genuinely easier to slog down. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing left to him anyway. Okay, batteries are back. Boy, it's like they knew I was out for a scrap. Am I out of ammo? I might be out of ammo. It's fine. Got a couple more. Do a quick repair. I'm gonna take his guns off before, but that's okay. There it goes. All right, so there's probably some stuff I could stack on at this point. Is this just some random iron or something I can't pick up? I have no idea. Oh, you're still alive. Let's rectify that. Blessed be the lasers. Okay, so these are boosters. We want them. Okay, reactor is nearing capacity. But it hasn't yet. Right behind that. Tech is now overloaded. This doesn't matter to me. Because once again, the goal is get fighty, get a bunch of stuff, and then get out of there. Sure, my tech is uh, expanded in many weird and uncomfortable and unexpected ways but it doesn't matter because we get to come back with a whole inventory full of stuff eventually i will probably be much more uh durable regenerator fields shields all sorts of goodies but i'm perfectly happy with this as is so when we actually take these off I think it's time that I move these silos around. There. So this should give me a lot more space with which I can recycle things. I think I'm going to get rid of the Kestrel frame. I don't really need it. I think we don't really want any of these. The flat shield projector is interesting. I just don't think I'm going to be using it. And see, I got some carbon. Turn this on. Everything else should be good. Perfect. And so hopefully that'll just recycle all of the random bits. Anyway, for now, this video has gone on more than long enough. Oh boy, I still have some parts to remove from my ship. So, I guess to repeat a couple of things. One, TerraTech Worlds is available now on Steam and Early Access. So if you guys want to play it yourselves, uh, just follow the link in the description below and you can pick it up. Uh, let's see. It is up to six player multiplayer. So if you've got some friends to play with, you can bring them along with you. Here, let's drive around while I'm doing this outro. Uh, not that there's much left to do. Eh, I see one thing I can go do at the very least while we're waiting. Uh, scrappers out of space, whatever. I'll fix it when I get back. But I guess before I go, I should say one last thank you to Payload Studios for sponsoring this video and all of the previous couple. It was very kind of you, and it was a ton of fun. Uh, like I was saying, uh, TerraTech 1 holds kind of a special place in my heart. I'd always like kind of waited and waited and waited to cover it and then eventually sat down. I'm like, yeah, I think I will play this game finally. And I did and I immediately fell in love. I thought it was a really neat, neat concept, a really neat game. And there's somebody here in my loot zone and he's gone. Never mind. Um, you know what? Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to destabilize this entire thing. I'm going to try and bring as much back as I can with me. There we go. That's a whole mess of things that I can bring home and either recycle 
or use to build my base. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I thought it was a really neat game. What the hell? I think I got stuck in a hole. I th oh. I wonder what happens is sometimes, especially with the bigger tech, you will get stuck in the ground. Let's just put that there. You'll get stuck in the ground and can't figure it out, and so it starts destroying anything that is passed below the, um, the destruction zone. That's gotta be it. Or something. <laughs> Maybe that structure is just extremely violent. I don't know. Uh, let's see. How do I respond? Tab? Exit? Restore blocks? Um... Oh, respawn. There, there it is. I'll have to come back and grab this momentarily. That, That's an interesting one. I was not expecting uh, to end my video by getting blasted by a base. Most lethal thing I've run into so far. Anyway, uh, yeah, really liked TerraTech 1 and is playing TerraTech 2. Like, it really does does fit that, that vibe uh, very well. But with greater, I think, greater challenge and balance and things to do. And base building, which feels really nice to me right now. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of that as it develops. But I guess I uh, should also say if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. Uh, let's see. But with that, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.